Seven years ago, NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission blasted off to an asteroid named Bennu. Its mission, to collect samples of this asteroid and return it to Earth. After traveling for nearly 3.9 billion miles, OSIRIS-REx is about to deliver its precious cargo. NASA senior scientist Amy Simon joins us live on Midday to talk about this accomplishment. Amy, thank you so much for joining us. And what is NASA hoping to learn from the samples? Thank you so much. So we're hoping that these samples from asteroid Bennu will tell us a lot about uh, the building blocks of planets and also the building blocks of life, because we expect our sample to retain a lot of carbon bearing minerals, uh, organics, amino acids, and possibly even evidence of past water on this asteroid. That is so cool. This mission also studied the Bennu asteroid in detail. What surprised you about this asteroid, Amy? This asteroid surprised us every time we looked at it. Mm -hmm. um, when we got there, we expected to find a surface that had some nice depressions that were kind of smooth craters that might have loose material in them that would be easy to sample. But when we got there, the whole surface was covered with boulders. I mean, every place you looked. And so we had to rethink how we were going to do our sampling to be able to safely bring back that sample. Yeah, so what were the challenges involved, Amy? I mean, we're looking at uh, the, the boulders. I imagine that terrain was one of them. Yeah, it was, it was a bit of a surprise. Um, we originally planned on a big clean area that we could sample. Instead, we didn't have that. So we had to do a lot of advanced engineering and figure out ways that we could get into a much smaller area safely and be able to get that sample. And so our engineers worked on this. We did a lot of practice and it went off without a hitch. That's great to hear. The Osiris Rest mission, however, isn't finished yet. What's next, Amy? So after we release our sample on Sunday, the spacecraft itself will actually do a divert maneuver and it's going to head on to another asteroid. So it'll be encountering near Earth asteroid Apophis in 2029. Oh my goodness. All right. You just mentioned that capsule returning to Earth this Sunday. How can we watch? So the best place to see this is actually from the comfort of your home. We'll be streaming it live on www.nasa.gov. Uh, starting at about 10 a.m. Eastern, and we expect sample touchdown about 10.55. That is so cool. Amy Simon with NASA, thank you so much, senior scientists. We appreciate your time today.